There are some definite considerations that you want to give to creating a new set of books. If I'm a service organization, it is going to be much easier than if I carry inventory. Let's go to the balance sheet. Keep in mind that the balance sheet is a running total of what we've done since the inception of our business. When you create a new set of books, none of the data comes over for the balance sheet. You will have to put in each individual balance. Now traditionally, we'll have an offset in our open balance equity account. This is where we can make sure that our balance is actually reconciled to the last statement we ran. Here's where some consideration must come into play though. Our inventory, our accounts receivable, and our accounts payable will all have to be re-entered. Let's take our accounts payable aging for instance. I will have to put in each balance per vendor. Now I'll need to make a decision here. Do I want to simply lump them all together and put in one invoice for everything that I owe them? Or do I want to put in each individual invoice? The same decision will need to be made with accounts receivable. Once again, do I want to put in balances only as of a period of time? Or do I want to go in and put in each individual invoice? This is a decision that only you can make. However, keep in mind that this can be extraordinarily time consuming when you're putting in all of these individual entries. When we return to our balance sheet, we will have to also think in terms of our inventory. Again, would you like to put your inventory in costed out per piece? If you use the costing reports in QuickBooks, Remember that everything is set up on average. You may wish to actually re-input your inventory with the quantity on hand times the unit cost. Again, it can be exceptionally detailed. It's really important to go through these different features with your accountant to determine if this is the best method. Now, the plus side of a new file, of course, is that we are going to regain 98% back in space. That means we will not have any of these delays. The good news also is I can always remember to keep my prior company available. In this case, I can always toggle between the new company and the old company for detail. Remember when you do that, that it's a really good idea to go into your preferences and set those colors to be completely different. Remember also on the top of your screen, you are seeing your company name. You may wish to put a number of asterisks in front of it, clearly state that it's the old version last year's in capital letters so that there's no confusion over which version they're in. Think through the amount of work that you'll do with a new company file and if possible, choose the timing to be at the slowest point in your season.